I'd probably be at like 35 Olympic Kahuna. Let me look at it real quick. Yeah, you can look at it. Like, I don't care. You can call up anything. I am super stoked to be back at my old stomping grounds, the West Valley Mall Card Show. I'm from Utah. I lived in Utah for years. Um, before I was making card content for this channel, I was going to this card show. I'm very excited to see what kind of deals I can find today. Let's see how I do. You're famous, bro. Pop over. <laughs> yeah, hey. I'm trying, dude. How are you, man? Good, how are you? Good. How's the show's been? Uh, we just got here. Just, just got, got here? Show, are you setting up? Yeah. You pick up a lot? Uh, just a bunch of quarter stuff or whatnot yeah. auctions, basically. Yeah. Pretty fun stuff. I'm trying to come up here a little bit more if I can. Do some stuff. Are you, you, are you in Vegas oh yeah, now? are you selling? Oh, you're yeah, yeah, I'm in Vegas now. I'm looking for Bowman U. I see you yeah, have some of that. I have a bunch at home, but I'm I'm doing the set on the base. Okay. I don't know prices yet, so you can just kind of throw them at them too. Antonio Gates. Junior auto, what? Junior Auto. Put his auto in there. It pulled the other day. Oh cool. Yeah, I did some box breaks, but I've been out of town, so I didn't uh wasn't able to basically oh dude, you got some cool stuff. The Javante Williams guy? Yeah. Yeah. That orange match is pretty dope. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Antonio Gates Jr., that's cool. I don't even know what his stuff's going for right now. I bet you it's good, though. Like, I'm yeah. sure he's got hype. I love Bowman U. Oh, I do, too. It's a nice-looking set this year, I too. I mean, we'll see what you, you have on that and all. I, really I also like Mims, but just let me know what you think. Yeah, the Mims is PC slash Oh, if it's PC, no, you keep it. I it can. just depends on the I price for me. Like 100, I think, so. Yeah, that's probably above what I want to yeah. pay. But it's a sick card, yeah. so I, like I don't Mims. even... Mims is playing really well, no, too. No, I got it at the last the show last weekend. I'd probably be at, like, 35 on the big Let me look at it real quick. Yeah, you can look at it. Like, I don't care. You can call up anything. What are you on the the rest of it? Uh, with all of this, probably, like, 40. 40? Okay. Let me just double check. I want to kind of... That doesn't seem like it's too bad. Let me just double check. Yeah. Yeah, I'll probably just take these at 40, then. That one, I'm not sure. Because I would do 65 with that. 65 with that. I'm trying to... It's cool. I'm just seeing, like, Tyler Van Dyke's at, like, 35. I'm not sure if he's going to go more than a quarterback. Oh, yeah, I That's my problem. Um, Dallas Turner went... Like, see, Dallas Turner went for, like, under yeah. 20, 30, which is... He is LSU, which is nice. If you do 60, I'd do it. Yeah, so, I'd do 60 for you. That worked? Awesome. Okay, we'll do 60 for you. Thank you, man. Yeah, no problem. That way, even if I... I think I'll do okay. I'll make a little money on that, yeah. and I just want it. <laughs> I'll take this Jake from you. Okay. Appreciate, Appreciate you very much. Thank you, man. Appreciate you. This sold pretty quickly. I took an offer. Didn't make a ton of money, but I made about five or six dollars profit. Now we are on to my kryptonite, the quarter boxes. I love a good quarter box. The ROI, I guess percentage-wise, is pretty good typically. And I do take some chances with the quarter box because I just like this stuff. A lot of these cards I put on whatnot. Um, some of them go on eBay. I use uh, Car Dealer Pro and my scanner and everything. I did pick up that Derek Stingley Jr. Silver Rookie for a quarter. Felt like a pretty good deal. There's another card coming up that I really like that reminds me of my youth. It's a 1994 Marshall Falk. I don't know what about 1994 cards is, is so important to me, but I remember collecting a lot of football then. This is the wave of the future. Came out of Flair, which was kind of like an expensive pack back then. Not a super valuable card, but at a quarter, it's a good deal. At the moment, one of my favorite low-end plays is anything Dion Sanders, Coach Prime stuff, is trending. It's not big money when you're dealing with base stuff like this, but he, he's a popular guy. And um, at a quarter, I'm pretty much going to pick up anything I see of Dion, and I'm going to put it on whatnot for the most part, unless it's like a refractor or something super, super interesting. Also, you know, like Michael Irvin, other players can do pretty decently for us on whatnot. By the way, guys, if you're new to whatnot, you can use my $15 code down below, which is a free credit for all new users if you use that code on whatnot. I always shout out these metal cards. It's a blast from the past. They're iconic. Terrell Davis, man. What a player for a couple years there. Then injuries kind of derailed his uh, career, unfortunately. Um, but honestly, this going through the 25-cent boxes especially kind of bring me back to, to my childhood where on the weekends I would go through all my cards and I'd sort them by teams. And then for whatever reason, the next weekend I would take all my cards out and then I would sort them by, by year or set. 
It's just always been, and I've talked about this before, it's always been a therapeutic thing for me. You get in the zone, you really enjoy it. Maybe sometimes I buy quarter cards that, you know, I might not make profit on. I'll try to, but, uh, you know, I'll put them through whatnot. I'll put them on eBay and that's okay sometimes. I enjoy these cards. The top loaders alone are worth, you know, five or 10 cents depending on how you're buying them. So it's a really good deal at a quarter a piece. I did find some pretty good cards here. I'll show you um, throughout looking a couple cards that were worth decent money and a lot of stuff I should be able to get like two or three dollars for, which is totally fine. And I get the top loader as well. This next card coming up is what these bargain boxes are all about, especially quarter boxes. This is a great deal at a quarter. Provisions, Anthony Penny Hardaway, awesome artwork on that. It goes all over the place from like three bucks all the way up to eight dollars on eBay. Plus, it's a card that would do well typically on whatnot. It's just an iconic looking card. And at a quarter, that's exactly what I'm looking for. Cool, interesting inserts and just artwork cards. Those typically can do really well. This next find was kind of a surprise to me. I knew it was cool. It looked amazing. It was a Patrick Ewing gold label card. It was gold, which was interesting to me. I wasn't sure what it was. After I bought it, I looked it up and found out it's a class three, a rare version from Gold Label 1999, and recently that card sold for 20 bucks, so that's a heck of a deal for a quarter. I've talked about this before. When you're digging through these boxes, you get just pockets of different types of cards. I hadn't encountered any vintage cards up until this point. These aren't super, super valuable. There's some early to late 70s stuff here. I picked up a couple ones just to take a chance on it. At a quarter apiece, I didn't feel like there was a lot of risk um, here's a David Thompson, one of the best players of the late 70s, early 80s. Had to pick that up. Pretty solid deal. Matt Harpering, go Utah Jazz, classic. I was curious about that card. That was an early Chris Paul. That Penny Hardaway is a um, flair showcase, I believe, and those just look amazing. There's a metal Charles Barkley, 96-97, Latrell Sprewell rookie card. Picking kind of just going with my gut on this. I'm not picking every star card, but the ones that I thought stood out to me that had an iconic feel, a good look, an animation card like this Larry Bird. Not, you know, a super, super valuable card, but it's something I think could do well on whatnot and would sell for a small profit, at least on eBay. Jerry Stackhouse for my PC. I found a stack of maybe six, seven, eight Jerry Stackhouses in this box. Had to pick them up for my PC. I think this is 1994 or 95 studio. I love that set and that Deion Sanders in the Cincinnati Reds uniform is iconic. Had to pick that up. Deion stuff. Once again, I'm looking for it. I'm buying it, especially at that quarter range. There's a vintage, what is that, 1979 or 80 Carlton Fisk Hall of Famer, a mini David Ortiz, Big Poppy. Going to pick that up. You know, minis, that's like something I would put on whatnot. Typically, Hall of Fame player or future Hall of Famer. Is he already in the Hall of Fame? I think he is. Um, but yeah, that's a pretty dope card. So I edited out a lot of my time in that 25 cent booth. I was probably there for like an hour. That's my place. I got a whole box of stuff, guys. It's a little bit of a mess here, but let's just like pull out some random cards and show you. This is like a second year Greg Luzinski. He's a pretty good uh, home run hitter. Um, look at this. There's that Derek Stingley Jr. Here's a cool black diamond, Anthony Hardaway. A lot of stuff that I could put in my whatnot auctions, quite a bit that I'm gonna use with my scanner and Card Dealer Pro and post on eBay. Mostly bulk stuff. It was fun. I had a blast. Also, I recently opened up a box of Bowman U. I'm not sure if you've seen my YouTube short, but check out this hit. I haven't had any time yet to post it, but number to 150 case hit. I'm not sure how rare the autograph case hits are, but this is Jordan Travis. I was looking on a website. They were saying like he was maybe like ranked fourth right now to get the Heisman Trophy. So he probably won't win it, but he's, he's playing pretty good. This is a great card. I have it listed kind of high, $125 for the box. I'd imagine I'm gonna get more than that. I have this listed at 350 right now. Probably not gonna get that much on it, but uh, I should pay for my box. And then I got all these cards left to sell. So I'm super excited about that. Thank you guys so much for watching these videos. I hadn't posted. This is the first time I've posted in like two weeks almost. I don't like doing that. I have a lot of footage. I have two garage sale card picks I need to edit and actually still go through my collection so you can see what I got in those garage sale picks. And I have another card show that I went to this last Saturday after this one. And then I have front row card show here in Vegas this weekend. So there should be another four or five um, card videos here in quick succession. But right now, um, 
I just hadn't done one for a while. So I appreciate you coming back and checking this out. And I hope you guys all have a great day. I'll check you back here in a couple days with a new video. Take care, guys.